When people hear the word feminist, some think it means male hater, but that's not what it is about. Feminism is really the view that people should not be treated differently in virtue of their gender, that nobody has any particular rights or obligations because of the gender they belong to. But when we talk about gender, we're not just talking about biological sex, we're talking about the ways that different kinds of identities intersect. So both biological sex, but also gender identity and race and ethnicity and immigration status and disability, all of those things intersect to kind of create identities for us. And really a feminist is anyone who says that those intersecting identities don't make or break you or your rights or your value as a person. Feminism has been an ongoing issue and people like Kirsten Pendleberry have taken a stand by creating a group called FEN. Honestly, I really started learning about feminism and things like that on the internet and the idea of it just really interested me and as I read more and more, I just got more interested about it and I started reading books and things on that topic. So I had a lot of friends who were interested in it as well. So I figured a lot of people would enjoy being a part of something like that in the school. So I thought it would be a good thing to start up. Kirsten is a grade 12 student at St. David High School in Waterloo. She's the group leader of FEM, which stands for Female Equality Matters. She organizes their weekly meetings in the lecture halls and has presenters come in to educate the members, like previous Waterloo Mayor Brenda Holleran. The group believes it is important to focus on feminism at a younger age. I think it's important because you have to be the change that you want to see in the world. And if you want the world to be different and you want the world to be a certain way, you kind of have to start promoting that, like even from like a young age. The group is even working with the school's Model UN to create new events. And while we're planning a multicultural fair kind of thing, it's still like a lot in the works, but it's hopefully it's something that um, will bring the schools together and sort of just like focus on like the diversity that we have here, which is also something that Fun Club's about. Although this group was trying to make a difference within their school, they received backlash on social media. One post even questions the meaning behind the group. I think a lot of the challenges that we have faced is that because of what has been presented to our generation already, um, we haven't had this idea kind of implemented into our heads yet. So for a lot of students, they've been very vocal about the fact that they don't like this kind of idea because they're confused as to what it is and they're not sure how to kind of go about it. So for us, it's been kind of difficult in that way. Paul Radakia, one of the co-pres of St. David's, explains why he thinks some people were not a fan of the new group. I think that as soon as I saw that Female Equality Matters was the title uh, and that there was a certain group that was involved with it uh, that, that tends to have sort of polarized views, um, they believe that this was going to be sort of uh, male hate and anti-male uh, or an anti-male kind of club. So they felt turned off by it because they felt like they were being discriminated against. Kirsten explains how the group dealt with this kind of hate. We didn't pay too much attention to them, um, mostly just inviting them to the club and saying, come for yourself, see what it's all about. Um, some of them did, some of them did not, and I don't know, we don't hear too many negative comments anymore, so. Paul was one of the people who were not a fan of the group and is now a member of them. Well, it wasn't so much that I wasn't interested, it was that I didn't exactly know what it was about or sort of what the club exactly stood for. And I guess I didn't take enough time to go and research that, so I just felt that uh, I just, I really didn't have the time at that point to get involved in that because I didn't feel that I had a connection to it. Then will continue on next year as the younger members will continue to run it. For Spoke TV, I'm Amanda Din.